Hello, welcome to how to solve this equation for all roots of a. a to the power 4 is equal to a minus 1 whole to the power 4. First of all, we shift this a minus 1 whole to the power 4 to the left side. Like this, a to the power 4 minus a minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 0. Next, we can write this a to the power 4 as a square whole to the power 2 minus and we can write this a minus 1 whole to the power 4 as a minus 1 whole square whole to the power 2 is equal to 0. Now, we can see here that there is a minus between two squares. Here we can apply an algebraic identity that is x square minus y square is equal to x plus y times x minus y. Here a square is as x and a minus 1 whole square is as y. According to this identity, we can write this as a square plus a minus 1 whole square time a square minus a minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. Next, a square plus, now we take this a minus 1 whole square according to an algebraic identity that is x minus y whole square is equal to x square minus 2xy plus y square. Here this a is as x and this one is as y. According to this identity, the whole square of a minus 1 is written as a square minus 2a plus 1 times this a square as it is a square minus and we take the whole square of this a minus 1 according to this identity. Here this a is as x and this one is as y and according to this identity we can write a minus 1 whole square as a square minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. Next a square plus we remove this bracket a square minus 2a plus 1 times a square and this minus changes the signs of these terms. This positive a square becomes negative a square and this negative 2a becomes positive 2a and this plus 1 becomes minus 1 is equal to 0. Next, 1a square plus 1a square, 2a square and this minus 2a plus 1 remains same, minus 2a plus 1 times this positive a square will be cancelled with this negative a square and here left 2a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, either 2a square minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0 or 2a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and can be solved by quadratic formula. Here a is as the coefficient of this a square 2 and b is equal to coefficient of this a minus 2 and c is equal to this constant 1 and quadratic formula is a is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. We put these values of a, b and c in this formula minus 
the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square we put here the value of b minus 2 and square minus 4 times value of a 2 times value of c 1 divided by 2 times value of a 2 next minus minus plus 2 plus minus square root of square of minus 2 is positive 4 minus 4 times 2 8 and 8 times 1 8 divided by 2 times 2 4 next 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 8 minus 4 divided by 4 is equal to 2 plus minus this square root of minus 4 can be written as square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 divided by 4 next 2 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 and this square root of negative 1 is equal to iota so we replace this square root of negative 1 by iota divided by 4 next we can take 2 as common 2 as common and in bracket we have when we divide this 2 by this 2 it gives 1 plus minus and when we divide this 2 iota by this 2 here left iota divided by 4 and from here 2 1 time 2 2 times is equal to 1 plus minus iota divided by 2 it means a has two values a is equal to 1 plus iota divided by 2 and a is equal to 1 minus iota divided by 2 these two roots of a are called complex roots now if we solve this one 2 a minus 1 is equal to 0 we get another root like this 2 a is equal to we shift this minus 1 to the right side it becomes positive 1 and we divide both sides by 2 left side divided by 2 and right side divided by 2 this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left a is equal to 1 over 2 this is the first root of a that is a real number 1 over 2 and this is the second root of a that is a complex number and this is the third root of a that is also a complex number so these are the three solutions of this equation